One moment, gentlemen. Cause when I look up to the sky, the light is passing through my eyes, a forming images of you and I. The gap is shining bright, and we have passed the test of time. And cause the force of gravitation will divide. Now we're satisfied. The questions in our minds. Let there be light. <laughs>
So here, magnets. Found one. Hey. 1927. Oh yeah. Here's my grandfather. Look. You know, he's a famous scientist. See? That one? Hmm. Do you know who is this? Uh, I don't know. But maybe we can try to look at some of my grandpa's stuff there and see. What yes, please. Let's go. Help me find some of my grandpa's stuff. I think these grandpas. Mm. Pure science, huh? Mm -hmm. Is this your grandfather? Mm, yeah. His name's Pierre, actually. Oh. <laughs> so old. Wait. He survived! Survived? <gasps> Who? This man! Oh, yeah. That man He in survived, the yes. He's my professor. Everything at the back. Oh. To Pierre, it's been a great Even journey. Theorizing on the possibility of time traveling with you. If ever we could create a machine, we may not be around by the time it's even functional. So I wrote notes on how it might work and some troubleshoot for failures. This might help its future users. Your friend in time. Dimitri. So that's it. Magnets and conductors arranged in a certain manner will induce electric current mm. by forcing movement on the electrons of an atom. See? Wait, I think something's drawn here that might help us. Look. Yes. That, basic, what's this? The electric current schematic diagram. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's like a time machine? Wait. Is this a blueprint? Thank you, God. So let's do this? Yes, that's it. We just need to follow it. Okay. Go. Come on. All right. One need the new magnet, 10 meter magnetic wire, tube like PVC, galvanometer or ammeter. Do you want to know what Nick and Marie are up to? Perform the same experiment. First, use the tube to make a coil out of the copper wire, then pull out the tube. Then, attach the ends of the copper wire to the terminals of the ammeter or galvanometer. Lastly, pick up the magnet and insert it back and forth inside the copper coil and observe what happens to the meter.